sure you all already know about DSS. So now I'm going to tell you about type of DSS. So here it is. So there are a number of decision support systems. These can be categorized into five types. Communication driven DSS, data driven DSS, document driven DSS, knowledge driven DSS, and model driven DSS. Communications driven DSS is a type of DSS that emphasizes communications, collaboration, and shared decision making support. Communications driven DSS enable two or more people to communicate with each other, share information, and coordinate their activities. Group Decision Support Systems or GDSS is a hybrid type of DSS that allows multiple users to work collaboratively in group work using various software tools. Examples of group support tools are audio conferencing, bulletin boards, and web conferencing. Document sharing, electronic mail, computer supported, face to face meeting software, and interactive video. Data driven DSS is a type of DSS that emphasizes access to and manipulation of a time series of internal company data and sometimes external data. Data warehouse systems that allow the manipulation of data by computerized tools tailored to a specific task and setting or by more general tools and operators provide additional functionality. Online analytical processing or OLAP software is used for manipulating data from a variety of sources that has been stored in a static data warehouse. The software can create various views and representations of the data. For a software product to be considered an OLAP application, it must contain three key features. Multidimensional views of data, complex calculations, and time-oriented processing capabilities. Document-driven DSS is a relatively new field in decision support. Document-driven DSS is focused on the retrieval and management of unstructured documents. Documents can take many forms, but can be broken down into three categories, oral, written, and video. Examples of oral documents are conversations that are transcript. Video can be news clips or television commercials. Written documents can be written by reports, catalogs, letters from customers, memos, and even email. Knowledge-driven DSS can suggest or recommend actions to managers. These DSS are person-computer systems with specialized problem-solving expertise. The expertise consists of knowledge about a particular domain, understanding of problems within that domain, and skill at solving some of these problems. A related concept is data mining. It refers to a class of analytical applications that search for hidden patterns in a database. Data mining is the process of sifting through large amounts of data to produce data content relationships. Model-driven DSS emphasizes access to and manipulation of a model, for example statistical, financial, optimization, and or simulation models. Model-driven DSS use data and parameters provided by decision makers to aid decision makers in analyzing the situation but they are not usually data intensive, that is very large databases are usually not need for model driven DSS. So that's all from me, thank you very much and have a good day.